Hi Pisces, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. And thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support. I'm just trying to light this um, Palo Santo here. So again, this is gonna be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June, 2021, okay? Let's just cleanse this here. And before we get started, I have three out of the six candles from my candle line, Find Your Light. These are different than uh, spell candles or manifesting candles. These are prayer candles that are designed to help you on your spiritual healing journey, okay? So each candle, um, is specific to a chakra or a trauma or wound that you will need to work on during the ascension process of your spiritual journey. So first I have clear mind. This is for the crown chakra. It's also to help you remove any um, anxious thoughts, worries, fears, and to align your thoughts to be more focused and more positive, okay, and opening your connection with the divine. We also have Clear Parent. This candle is designed to help you become aware of and release uh, any mother-father wounds that you may have that you're unaware of that are blocking you from growth. So this will really fall into line with healing family cycles, family trauma, all of that um, karmic junk that we need to get rid of. And then here we have Clear Shadow. This is for shadow work. This is for rising to the surface any wounds or stains within that you may have that you need to repent that you need to release become aware of and accept um there are six candles total etsy shop is in the uh, description box below all candles are made with soy wax and essential oils that are specific to that chakra or that wound that you are working on as well as the crystals on top are specific to that chakra or that wound there's also going to be a scripture verse on the label of all candles and you will meditate and or pray on that scripture verse when you first light the candle that will help activate it. Okay, so with that being said, Pisces, let's get into your reading and see what you guys have for June 2021. If you're new here, please know that as I pray, should I pause, it's because I am placing my intentions on the cards. Mother, Father, God, and Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus. In regards to their current life situation, life path, life journey. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding. As well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what soul lessons and soul cycles Pisces may currently be going through, about to go through need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua name I pray, amen. Okay. Emperor and Empress came out for a show, and then I saw the Page of Pentacles right after, which is letting me know that there is this divine connection surrounding you, or there is this person that you view as your divine counterpart. But one of you is coming through as a page, just a little bit. Not enough information, or maybe not seeming mature enough. Um, you know, not giving the full details, or not really putting in a lot of effort into this connection or none at all so it's making you question so let's see what we have for you pisces for june page of swords so You've definitely been lurking, watching somebody. 
wanting to gain more information a lot of swords a lot of air energy here leo energy as well queen of cups okay overall energy bottom of the deck is magician okay um taking things into your own hands recognizing the power that you have in creating the life that you want for yourself pisces you have the eight of swords underneath this is about you releasing fears this is about you <clears throat> taking control and bringing in those dreams and those goals and creating them and turning them into reality okay holy spirit tell me about this page of swords so currently the energy that i'm getting in regards to the situation and or connection is you guys are not communicating there is a separation i feel like mostly it's just lurking you guys may be watching each other through social media not a lot of communication though you do want to communicate but it's not taking place tell me about this page of swords please yeah it's just a lot of waiting okay a lot of waiting a lot of pondering of wondering what's going on um how long is it going to take to get here there's a lot of planning going on a lot of discussing but discussing with yourself i don't really see you discussing your options or your plans with anyone else you're you're, you're very very much observing what's going on you don't have much to say you're just kind of taking it day by day um We have the Ten of Swords as your current energy. So you recently went through some type of defeat. Um, Pisces, I do feel like at this moment you might be feeling as though the world is against you or on top of you. You're, you're trying to rise like the Phoenix, but you do feel very, very down at this moment. You do feel very, very down. They're, they're, I see you rising from this so much. This is about healing your um, solar plexus chakra. This is about working on your self-worth and what you deserve and setting healthy boundaries for yourself. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Yeah. New beginning in love here. Look at that. Here's the Ten of Swords again. You are feeling defeated in love. You're feeling betrayed. You're feeling as though, am I ever going to get this connection? Yeah, you know, you may be dealing with the fire sign, okay? Aries or Leo Sagittarius, you don't have to be. But it's like, I feel like you're getting to this point in your life where you're so tired of the start and stop, the start and stop. You just want something to go. There is a lot of love that is surrounding you. Clarify this Ten of Swords with the Ace of Cups. But you're feeling very, very down about a particular love connection or situation that didn't play out the way that you thought it would or that you thought it should. But what you're not realizing, what you're failing to realize here, is it played out exactly the way it was supposed to. And it has everything to do with you learning lessons and accepting things about yourself and, and, and creating better options, right? That's why this magician is here. Now it's time for you to go into your toolbox and not allow yourself to be stuck anymore, okay? The outside energy in regards to this connection is the Five of Swords. I, you guys are not communicating. There is no communication. Tell me about this Five of Swords. This person may have said something to you that was very hurtful and that made them feel like they had the upper hand at first. Um, this person does not feel that way anymore. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. This person may have tried to reach out or wants to reach out and create some type of balance if they haven't yet. They are going to come out and communicate with you or there's going to be some type of communication here with the sun. Um, positive movement forward. But there is a lot of concern surrounding it. This person feels like they went through a battle with you. And that they were the last one standing. I think what needs to happen here is somebody needs to lose their pride. 
there's like a lot of ego and pride in this particular um, situation here, Pisces, where somebody's just like really, really holding on to the worldly aspect of what happened. Um, yeah, yep, the truth is they need to reflect. Spirit's like, yep, this person needs to have a wake up call about their role in their own life and how they create messes out of nothing. Does that make sense, Pisces? It's like this, and I don't know if that's you or the other person, but this person is in a very dark place spiritually, and I don't think that they even realize that because this may be somebody who thinks that they're very connected and aware, but they're lacking so much when it comes to accountability and understanding that they are the the reason that things play out in their life. I feel like they want to blame you a lot. I do feel like a lot of this was projected onto you, Pisces. Yeah, there's some hesitancy and some reflection that needs to take place. Somebody here is very, very connected to the past and they are not present. They are not present in the current moment to see what's being given to them or what's in front of them. Tell me about strength as the challenge. The challenge here was someone's pride and ego. Somebody did not know how to humble themselves here. Tell me about strength. They're very, um, they're using the strength in the wrong way. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. So there ended up being a lot of remorse, a lot of regret. You guys may have gone through a lot of on and off or there was just deep sadness that somebody couldn't see what this was because I'm feeling here the challenge is needing somebody to swallow their pride. Yes. Even spirit is saying, yep, here is temperance. This is deep spiritual healing that needs to take place. So this person is probably in the midst of a lot of lessons. Yes, they are. Look at that. Can't make this up. So there's the strength card again with temperance. This person is in the midst of a massive shake up and wake up. Shake up and wake up. Um, Spirit is trying to get them to recognize what's been here all along with this Five of Cups. But like I said, they're not present because we saw the Four of Cups. They're so focused on things that have happened to them in the past that they're letting their ego control. And that's this challenge is getting them out of it. Okay. The next steps in this situation is the Two of Wands. There's a decision to be made. There's a fork in the road. Which way is best which way is going to you know best suit me huh look at that leo energy very very strong what are you going to choose your pride and your ego or strength which is swallowing that pride and that ego not allowing our temper, our demons, our shadow aspects to control the outcome of our life. Yeah, there's a need to end a cycle and create a new path. So you're at this crossroads, Pisces, where you need to make a decision. Mm -hmm. What's going to lead you, Taurus energy here? What's going to lead you? You are very gifted. You can see the future. You know what's going to happen. You might not have all the details, but you are have a very clear vision. The veil's been lifted of what's going to happen should you walk away. Here comes these cards. This is a massive life change and shift. But you have to bring balance to yourself. How do you bring in that balance? That's where you're at right now, Pisces. Tell me about this Queen of Cups for the outcome. Emotional stability here, taking the time to heal inner wounds and look within. I do feel like this is you, okay? Although it's usually cancer for me, we're dealing with Pisces. So here you are, Queen of Cups is the outcome. Very stable, very sure of what you want. You've healed the, the uh, wounds within. You've taken the time to meditate, reflect, clear your heart. Now you have something to offer. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, please, as the outcome for Pisces. Tell me about this 
Queen of Cups for the outcome, please. Tower. Massive shift coming in when you least expect it. With the Knight of Swords was what tried to come out with it. So this is something, some type of message, something out of the blue, something comes rushing in. You're not expecting this. Let's see before I close out. Holy Spirit. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. What can you tell me about this tower? Holy Spirit, what can you tell us about this tower? that we are to know. What can we know about this tower for Pisces as the outcome? I'm hearing something has to fall apart in order for it to come back together. So understand that there's going to be a massive upheaval here that goes on. Yeah, Queen of Swords with the Queen of Cups. So, some type of communication, some type of truth. Somebody who was closed off to their emotions, something has to end in order for something to begin. Okay, I can't say that enough. You have the death card, the five of pentacles and the page of cups. Something's gonna be turned down, shut down, and it's going to look like it's ending because it's gonna, gonna create a massive shift and this person's gonna have to turn inside and face the truth. This could be you or the other person. I don't think it's you though. I think you're the one who knows what you want. Yeah, and this person is going to have to go through some type of shift or transformation here to get to the magician, which is to bring this into manifestation. All right, my lovely Pisces, sending you guys much love and healing. I look forward to seeing you soon, and I hope you guys are doing well.